My girlfriend Reb selected three roguelikes that I've never heard of to see if I could guess how popular they actually are. The rules are simple. I play each game for a limited amount of time and analyze just about everything I can. Huh? After the time is up, Reb tells me a few facts about the game and then I'm forced to guess three things. The game's price, the amount of Steam reviews, and the overall reception. Positive, negative, or mixed. I think I'm pretty good at analyzing video games at this point, but spoiler alert, I'm about to find out just how hard it actually is. In fact, in the comments section below, pause before the results of every game and try to guess for yourself. I mean it. Do this. It's actually really fun, and I want to see if I'm just bad or if this challenge was genuinely difficult. So, let's go. Join me in the first episode of Guess the Reviews. The first game up is Love Love School Days. With a title like this, I immediately knew I was in for a treat. But this game blew everything I expected right out of the water. It starts off in the bedroom of some dude with a VR headset that contains some sort of dating sim. So basically a slice of life, but a pretty sad life. All right, I'm going to already assume that this game is probably under 100 reviews. After jacking in, I realized that I couldn't start a new game file. So I loaded the end game of the file that already existed only to be met by a bunch of schoolgirls that treated me like I was some sort of freakish monster. I hope this isn't foreshadowing. It's not my lucky day that I get to talk to you at graduation. That's mean. Ah, don't talk to me so suddenly. Please go away. Dude, am I a f atrocious demon beast? Would you please stop talking to me like that? Jesus, what do I look like? Rev, you really know how to pick them. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Where's the roguelike? And to that, I reply, right? After checking the data, it turns out nearly every single girl in this school hates me except for Sabuki Makina. Whoa! It's not just L City here, guys. We got a dub. Who wants to meet me under a bell on the rooftop? I wonder who it is. The legend of the bell is that if two people kiss underneath it, their souls are bound together forever. Uh-oh. One stereotypical anime kiss later, the game's game ends. I tried to start a new file to romance someone else, but then there was an error and a straight up terrifying effect that alters the title screen. Are we doing some Doki Doki? Are we doing a Doki Doki literature club? Liar. Makina then yells at me for trying to delete her and reminds me that our souls are linked forever. Holy shit. Finally, it allows me to load back into the game and now things are different. Instead of being in a cute and pink high school, we're now in a procedurally generated dungeon that looks like a high school. This was the roguelike. No way in hell. I wandered around to see if I could find any clues to what was happening and put together that Makina from the rooftop kiss scene was running around and deleting other characters while also trying to delete me. And then she does the most meta thing I have ever uh -oh. seen in my life. Uh oh. Oh, no, you didn't, bitch. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the f What the f <laughs> What the f what the f happened? That's right, she noticed that I was streaming this live, <coughs> so she threatened to put hentai on the screen in order to get me banned. Fight. And then she shows that she was just kidding and asks for people to subscribe to her channel. That's like three different levels of meta humor. I've been chased by monsters with knives, guns, poison, you name it, but never, and I mean never, have I been threatened by TOS. This game is amazing. The entire gameplay loop was avoiding Machina while finding specific items to progress and it played like any other horror game. Except there were different school periods that would happen throughout your run that would make things easier or harder. For example, if it was music period, then loud classical music would blare through the intercom. Oh, this is nice. This music's sick. Why does that matter? Because now you can't really hear Machina's footsteps. 
If it was sports period, then you'd be able to sprint forever without draining your stamina, which is good because much like any other horror game, this protagonist has probably done cardio for about three minutes total in his entire life. <sighs> and if it was physics period, Machina just straight up didn't have You're footsteps. Joking. This was by far the worst one. You're joking. That stinks. This is a stinky one. I wander around and die a few times only oh. to realize that you have Damn. to start off all the way at the beginning Dude. every single time and navigate through a newly generated school deep. dungeon. As a roguelike, I don't really know if this formula works because that's a lot of progress to lose, but it makes the game a lot scarier. So I guess mission successful. I think we call it there for this one. There's also a chance that you can run an ad in order to respawn, but when you try to do it, it's just Machina acting out one of those weird bad phone game ads. <laughs> and then she roasts you for thinking an advertisement just can save kidding. your progress, which is kind of mean, but to be fair, word. <laughs> my time was up, so Rev dropped some comments before I made my guesses on price, popularity, and review score. For review, the overall quality of this game was like something Markiplier would play in 2011. It wasn't necessarily well made, but the writing was definitely something that I personally loved and could imagine others enjoying as well. So I'm going to assume the reception was positive overall. I doubt that this game was really that popular, at least not yet. Sure, it had hilarious moments, but I feel like I would have heard about this game if the moments were viral enough. Unless it was super new, so I'm assuming this game has in between 100 to 200 reviews. And finally, if you've ever watched Charlie's videos, you'd know that Steam pricing is about as predictable as Sonic the Hedgehog with a Coke problem. So I was kind of at a loss here, but it did have voice acting throughout, so I'm gonna guess that it's worth at least $10. Now pause the video and tell me your guesses so I can see if I was dumb. We still got two games to do this on, by the way, so don't press enter. You just play like elevator music and do like a cheesy little like screen to give them like four seconds to write it down. <laughs> so that first game was called Love Love School Days. It was released February 6th, 2023. 2023, so it's new. Yes, came out last month. Holy sh All right, don't tell me any popularity, obviously, but go on. Guess the amount of reviews it has within- Let's do 100. I'm gonna say this game has anywhere between 100 to 200 reviews. It has 272 reviews. Oh, I'm wrong, okay. Now guess the, if it's positive, negative, or I would assume that this game has positive review because of how the story is. People would really like this story. It's positive. Yes. You want to guess the price? Yeah. I'm going to guess this game cost. How close can I be? Within five or ten dollars. Within five or ten? We'll do five. Ten dollars. I think it costs ten dollars. Cost five dollars and ninety-nine cents. So I win. Yeah. Okay, so I got the price and I got how it was reviewed. Yep. Okay, we finished the first game at two and one, making this a W. Hey. Our second game was Hell is Other Demons. This game was very clearly so much more polished than the first one. I could tell right now that this game is probably popular. The sprite work was fantastic. This genuinely is beautiful, man. The soundtrack was amazing and it just felt really great to play. But the roguelike aspect of this game was kind of bare bones. Okay, this is the roguelike part. It was just random levels with the ability to level random things after you get enough XP. Locks, increase, wait. I will say that the gameplay was good enough to not make it a big deal though. And just listen to the soundtrack. My God. Still, it's pretty weird to call this game a roguelike, but hey, we searched Steam, and if you think about it really hard, you could say that League of Legends is a roguelike. Also, these days, Steam is handing out roguelike tags like Twitter check marks, so whatever. After finishing a few runs, and by that I mean dying super fast every single time, I... <laughs> I had to do my three guesses. First off, the game had different weapons, character classes, skills, ultimate moves, so judging by all that polish, it had to be pretty popular. On top of that, the art style in this game definitely took a lot of resources, so I could assume it was a pricier title because stuff like that costs money. And as for the overall reception, I'd say it was positive. Now you write down your guess. Yeah. 
explain to the people. All right, so. <laughs> in your chair, young man. So this game is called Hell is Other Demons. It was released May 20th, 2019. Guess how many reviews? Okay, this game is very pretty. Huh? This game is very pretty. How close can I be? Between 100, 200? 100. 100, within 100? Yeah. I'll say it has 1,000 reviews. This game has 264 reviews. No fucking way, really? Yep, and guess if it's positive, negative, mixed. Very positive? And what percent? Okay, wait, positive? Positive. 89. 93% positive. I was close. Mm -hmm. I got close there. And guess the price. Okay, now this is where I'm gonna get. Twenty dollars. What range? Uh, is it ten? Five. Five? Yeah. Nine ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Word. You get one point. Nor. This time around, I ended up getting one point out of three, making my second attempt at guessing a massive L. We had one game left to guess the review on, and I was sitting at a 50% win rate. I took a quick second to reflect on what I learned so far, and I wanted to change my approach. I also had to remind you that subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell assures that you don't miss a video like this one, so please do it to help the channel out. Moving on. Our final game on the block was unlike anything I've ever seen before, a game called Necomancy. This game is the most out of left field game I've ever played. Let me explain. Basically, you have two hands that you could equip a spell on, left and right. The spells themselves are made up by the player and the customization on them is insane. You choose what kind of projectile you want, what kind of effect, what the projectile is made out of, etc. <laughs> It sounds pretty amazing, right? But do you want to know why I haven't shown you any footage yet? Well, that's easy. To put it lightly, this game looks like it was created in four minutes on a TI-83 calculator. I mean, look at this. RuneScape looks better than this. And that game can run on a stone tablet. <laughs> the overall concept of this game is phenomenal. It kind of reminded me of Magicka, except way deeper. Left. That's kind of cool though. The problem with it is that it didn't really work. The majority of the spells that I made ended up bugging out. One of them didn't do any damage and the other one just didn't have an animation. The game over screen also reminds you that you're terrible and should okay. feel bad about it. All right, I maybe, <laughs> maybe this game is not good. <laughs> now, I know it's silly to judge a book by its cover, but I didn't really give this game too much time because it was a little bit frustrating not being able to rely on half of the intended gameplay. Also, on this run, I fell into lava, which looked like beans, and there just wasn't a way up that I could find in time. So I was preemptively done, and I died because I fell into a pit of lava and there was no way to get up. Judging books by their cover is not a great idea, but judging them by the first few pages oh, is okay. Also, the cover looks like this. So, come on. I didn't really know what to do with my guesses here. The game was very clearly not polished, so the price range was hard to estimate. It looked and felt like shovelware, so I'm going to guess that it cost a dollar, or maybe it was making me money by mining Bitcoin in the background. For those exact same reasons, I could assume that this game had 10 or less reviews. One from a random person who stumbled onto it searching Steam, and nine from the cat on the main cover of the game using nine different accounts on all nine of his lives. Judging by my own experience, I think the reviews would be negative, cause nothing worked. And this was the most sure I was. Now, are you ready to be blown away? Because listen to this. Tell him. All right. Tell him. That game was Necomancy. It was released September 1st, 2022. Don't look at my laptop. Stand over there. I'm not looking at your laptop. Now guess the number of reviews. I'm gonna say 13. And what number are we trying to get with it? Since it's a smaller game. Smaller. I'll say within 10. It no, has... no, 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 no. I'll say 10 to 20. 10 to 20. Okay. It has 49 reviews. 49. Yep. Guess if it's positive, negative, or mixed. Negative. It is positive. It's positive. And guess the percentage. Like 51. 100% positive. No fucking way. Are you serious? I am I am dead serious. 
100% positive? Out of 49 reviews, yes. Out of 49. This guy just has a lot of Facebook friends, for sure. Now guess the price. This better, this better have been 99 cents. It was free. Oh. And some of the, the reviews I found were, best game I've ever played, parentheses, cured my erectile dysfunction. Okay. <laughs> best game ever, parentheses, cured my lifelong phobia of cats. This is the game ever. <laughs> yeah, you heard her correctly. This game has 100% positive written reviews, making this the best rated game on our list by far. That's a more positive review rate than Elden Ring. And that also makes my third attempt at guessing the reviews a massive L, putting my overall score at 1 to 2. Guess I'm not as good at guessing reviews as I thought. I really enjoyed making this video, and we got to check out some pretty cool and unknown games. I'm actually going to go back and play Love Love School Days, and I highly recommend you check it out too, because it's hilarious and quite terrifying. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you could come Steam Review Diving with me in the future. So how did you do? Were your guesses close, or were you as clueless as I was? Let me know in the comment section below so that I have something to read while I'm in the bathroom. That's all I gotta say. Here's a video on the screen that you should totally check out because it'll be fun and awesome. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hum to myself until you leave. Are you still here? Leave.